Might we pick up play with some 15 minutes remaining in the second quarter. North Melbourne leading by a point. Anthony Danaher who can kick it in a long, long way. But he's not sure who to give it to. Anderson gives him the lead from centre wing. That's the direction of the kick. And Anderson leaves Roberts behind. Back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell's kicked a full forward. Salmon with Martin. Comes to the front. And North out of trouble. Anderson. He was one of the stars of the season last year. Just about favourite on Brownlow medal night. The kick by Anderson. Big pack at centre half forward. Oh. Salmon. Beautiful to watch. Yes, a great mark by the big fellow. He actually did get off the ground on that occasion. Watch him here. Good mark. He had the sit. Well, that's his first mark. It's taken him until the 13-minute mark of the second quarter. Remember his contribution early in the grand final last year. Where he was their only forward, Essendon, early in the game. Salmon from right in front and 52 metres out. It's close, and it's home for a goal. The Bombers have hit the front. Well, the beauty of Salmon is the fact that he is a very, very mobile big man. Usually when you're that tall, you're having the mobility. And there he is calling for the ball. It sits up, and he is just too big on that occasion. There's some big timber, tall timber in there. It's a good kick from Salmon. And now he's gone back into the ruck. It's a strong second term from Essendon. They lead now by five points. And they win it out of the centre again. Salmon was the man who got the knockdown. Well, they haven't quite cleared the centre as yet. But they're controlling the play. Eventually, Anderson pumps them forward once more. Madden the target. Roberts reaching over the top. Chandler did well. Now he's in trouble. Slaps it out. Steel couldn't pick it up. Heard going in the other direction. Keeps it alive. Knocks it across to Wizard. How will it bounce? It crushed the post. North taking a long time that time to clear the zone. Well, they did well initially, North, because they were outnumbered the defenders, but they finally got it. But uh, it was good play then by Essendon to capitalise. This is a really good game. You can't afford to make a mistake because the opposition seemed to capitalise. Bombers by six points. Scholl, good mark on the run. Good kick too, coming in from Roberts. Scholl at right half back. Kicks towards centre wing. Carey goes up. Fisted away by a flood. Taken by Hurt. He's on centre wing. He centres. Kick it. Drifting into open space. Too much carry on the kick. Kick it comes again. Keeps it in front. Stevens dives on top of it for North. Shovels a hand pass away. Martin's kick ricochets back towards Wanganeen. The two number fours track it down. Mann's got it now. Across towards Roberts. Roberts nearly ran out of room. Finds steel. Round the boundary line he goes. Gallagher comes from behind Salmon to spoil. Hurd playing well. Gee, the veteran has been in league footy since 1977 with a three-year break in the middle. Gallagher. Stevens. And the hand pass too strong and out of play. And Salmon a little bit groggy behind play after that clash when the ball came down between he and Gallagher. He'd go very slowly, he'd get to his feet, a little gingerly, shook his head. He seems to be all right now. Gallagher, down to Schwoss. Straight out of bounds. And North Melbourne about to make a change. And we see Damien Murray, number two ruckman, coming on to replace Gallagher. Who's rucked tirelessly against Salmon and Madden for a quarter and a half. Free kick to be taken by Hurd. The man on the mark, Ramiro, came straight forward over the mark. Umpire must have said play on. Now with Bailey. Oh, good ball. Bailey weaved through a couple of them. Pumps it high. Oh, good ball. Madden. Again, that ball holding up in flight. Madden in front. Had the set. Simon Madden in his 351st game of football. 1974, he started his career. Man on the mark about 35 metres out from goal. Bombers lead by a goal. Awkward looking attempt to pull that one. He's allowed for a hurricane.
has the time remaining. And the margin is seven points. Essendon's way now. To the pressure back on North. Roberts goes in short. Chandler. Oh, thought about playing on. In fact, he's told he did. Kicks it back towards half back then. This is Harvey with some time. Centering kick. Pulls it back to Salmon. They conceded some ground there, but they've still got the ball. Salmon's kicks a shocker. Wide of Wanganin. Taken by Buick. Kicking at his fourth. It floats down towards the kickoff line. How does it bounce? Oh, just wide. It was trying to come back. 8-8 eight, eight to 7-6. Essendon dominating the play. North had the best of it in the first turn. Roberts kicks in. Oh, unfortunate and because he's bowled a no ball. Mm. Yes, and he had a man all by himself. As we see there, Scholl could have gone in and marked that. But he's gone over the line, Mark Roberts. When they go to the sideline, the umpire gets a very good sight. If the whole ball is across the line, the umpires will bounce it. They'll call it. If you come out to the end line, there's no problem because they can't tell. Eight points the margin. That could be expensive. Rush through four behind. Make the margin nine points. Simon Madden directing traffic. Listen and ringing the North Melbourne fellows who are gathering at the centre half back position. Schwoss, a leader there. But Roberts comes oh. in short. Stevens drops it. He's only 20 metres out from goal. Not a great hand pass to Smith. And the soccer forward was wide of the mark. Either Long or Wanganin. They really do take a chance, don't they, the full backs, when kicking out like that. And a lot of K we've seen it on a couple of occasions today. They've hit a man. But on that occasion, it came undone. And you really do pay the penalty. Obviously, by design, ball comes off hands. Chandler across the goal face. Martin kept his head. Back towards half back, but Hurd's in the row. Some of those short passes coming unstuck after the behind. After some uncertainty from the full back, I would have thought the best thing to do is plant it long. This is his first kick, Shane Hurd. First, you're joking. He's had ten oh, possessions. Ten. Sorry. He's nearly best on ground. He's amazing, me. Computer malfunction. Here's Hurd. He kicks from just inside the 50. It's floating, it's a goal. He's got it. Well, I was one of those people who scoffed when Heard was drafted because I didn't think he could make a comeback like this, but uh, he's playing a top gun. He's picking up Ramiro. Last week, he's, he didn't get a kick, but either did his opponent. But he's done a lot of hard work around the ground, Heard, putting his body in or shepherding his man off or allowing for him teammate to come through. Salmon wins in the middle and Essendon starting to get on top in this quarter. Stevens. High kick to half forward. Hurd's back there with Romero. He kicked the last goal and he beats his man again this time to Izard. Lucky kick over the chest of Bailey. Short pass. Harvey runs onto it. Delivers the hand pass to Long. Back to Harvey. They've lost it. Picked up by Rock. Carey again, a danger man at half forward. Takes the mark, plays on, he shouldn't have. Buick gets him. He's out back there for the Bombers. Salmon has to wait. Murray came to spoil him. Murray at ground level. Gee, Buick's having a top day too. 12 possessions and three goals. Kranzberg out into open spaces. Kick it to Smith. Kick it, losing ground. Goes back with a hand pass. It's good play to O'Donnell. O'Donnell's kick inside 50. Somerville got underneath it. Madden there to use the body. That didn't come out with the ball. Man. Kicks it through centre, but only as far as Salmon. Essendon really putting their stamp on this game. Flood gets it away to McMillan. He runs through the middle. Goes long down towards full forward. Going back is Roberts. Got a hand on it, but knocked it down to the advantage of Madden. Madden, a centering hand pass, Long, does well Long from 15 metres out, it's a goal. Essendon, 10-9, North Melbourne, 7-6. Impressive quarter this one by the Bombers, they've kicked five goals to one. Somerville 
Gets it down, but to no real effect. Roberts in desperate trouble. Wanganeen now from about 20 metres out. Tries to pull it back. It floats out of bounds on the full. It's the second time Roberts has done that when he's got the handball. Very slow. He got away with it earlier, but got caught on that occasion. Steele goes short to German. Still in the back pocket, Peter German. And suddenly the options closing down for North. On the outer side, strong Mark O'Donnell. Plays on immediately. Smothered off the boot. He gets his second chance, though, inside the 50. O'Donnell just misses. Thompson Almost target practice at the present time. Thompson coming on for Essendon. Ridley off. Thompson acting skipper today in the absence of Tim Watson injured last week he'll miss a month short pass into Smith over half back to Martin strong mark. good mark Michael Martin might have attracted Brownlow votes last week for his game on the Gold Coast on Saturday night up towards half forward and well, Carey interfering this time that's a free Mark anyway, it's to be Salmon's free kick. Backwards to Isa. Over the centre circle to half forward, Somerville. Somehow it comes out to Steele. McCarthy on his own. And Allison into Romero. Inside the 50 metres. Oh, top smother by her. Great football. Off to uh, Kranzberg. And the Bombers take it round the attacking side. Instead of being a goal at one end, it might be a goal at the other. Kranzberg to half forward. Madden off hands to Buick, who's been a great rover, capitalising on everything. Kick it's there, but it's offline the kick and through for a behind. They're playing well. Just over three minutes remaining till half time. Set seven shots at goal, Buick. Kelly's gone to centre half back. Ross Smith to bring it in. And again, some indecision. And he goes for distance. Kicks it outside the 50. Bailey was he held, not according to the umpire. German on the burst. Gets it across towards Steele. And Allen did well that time for Essendon. Won the ball despite being outnumbered. Ronald Thompson, hard against the boundary line, confronted by Martin but left him in his wake. Now a centering kick. Essendon in best position, almost a mark to Madden. Well done by Kicker. Slapped out of there by Steele. Taken by Larkin. Good evasion. Kicks it wide. It bounces just inside the field of play and runs out in front of Rock. 10-11 Essendon. 7-6 North Melbourne. And the Kangaroos now need a spark. Murray and Somerville, one by the latter, taken by Stevens. Gains about 20 metres with a kick. It went very high. Schwoss off the ground. Now North can make something here. They lead in all directions to the ball. This is Allison running away from his own goal. Runners breaking to the outside, but he goes between the two of them. And Hurd takes the mark. Schwoss one side of him. And Ramiro the other, but Hurd was able to take that mark. Lays it off to O'Donnell, who finds Matt. And that's the difference going in. Essendon far more polished. Yes, well, North Melbourne really have uh, one marking option up forward, and that's been Carey. And largely he's been kept a lot quieter this quarter than in the first term. But Essendon have, well, if it's not Salmon, it's Madden or Somerville. But they're also doing so well across the centre of the ground, Essendon, and they're delivering the ball into space, which allows these bigger fellows to run, or the marking or the leading player to run into space confidently, knowing that the ball's going to be out in front. That's the way every forward would like it. So the problems are really up the ground for North Melbourne. Simon Madden, Breeze at his back. A little bit right to left from there. 45 metres out. Poked at that. The Breeze might help it get there. Right on the line, did it make it? Go on by Weston's hat, but signal the goal. First goal for the veteran. He only kicked one point last week. 48, 40, 77 playing 48. And Essendon really storming away now. And here it is. See the way that O'Donnell's able to run out of the centre there. There's really no pressure being applied. He can drop the ball wherever he likes. 
Back in the middle, Essendon going forward again. Bailey to Wanga and Long. Long a left footer. Goal square job. Madden again. Well, if there's any criticism, Mark, he might have been in front just that little bit too far. Should have been touching the body of Madden. See how far he's caught. He just doesn't know where Madden is. He hasn't got eyes in the back of his head. And Madden had him set up. Madden's second goal in a minute. The Bombers racing away in this quarter. Seven goals to one. Yes, they can do no wrong. They've got the break out of the centre. Salmon got the hit down. Murray's got to put his body in. And there's Long running onto it. And the good thing about it is that it's going long into their forward line. So the Bombers breaking this game wide open. 12-11 7-6. Dying moments of the first half. Murray dropped it. Hurd slaps it out. Izard missed it. Peter German ran into a dead end. Stevens, aided by a good shepherd from the big fellow, Murray hooked it across his body. Allison over his head. Carey can North get a late goal. Allison, 35 metres out and closing. He's got it. And so a seven-goal quarter by Essendon after they trailed by seven points at the first change. The Bombers by 29 points at half time. We go back to the match now and we pick up play at the start of the third term. The start of the third term at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. And North with the job in front of them. Gallagher and Madden, one down by the former, taken by Izard, kicking towards half forward. Strong mark is taken by Wanganee. He's got plenty of class, only 17 years of age. Looks like a boy in an all-age comp, doesn't it? Twelfth man taken in the 89 draft. Kicks down towards full forward. Salmon simply too tall. Very hard to beat in that situation. He plants himself in front. You really have to get a run at him. I realise that Martin just caught out of position when it comes to man on man, body against body. Salmon usually does win out. The simple thing is he's taller than anyone else playing the game. Kicking at his second. Should get this. He's only about 30 metres out, almost directly in front. He's kicked truly. Just the start North Melbourne didn't want. And the start that Essendon did want, just to reinforce North Melbourne, they got a game in front of them. And the margin out now to 35 points. It's a good kick from Salmon. He's a very accurate kick when close to goal. Well, they need more of his goal scoring. He's been their leading goal scorer for the last four years. Back in the middle. Madden wins. Can't get it clear though. Schwass for North Melbourne. High wide and handsome out to half forward flank. Rock. Can he keep it in? Not quite. McMullen ran him over the line. It's interesting the way Madden's jumping that fraction earlier and upsetting uh, Gallagher. Now Gallagher can get up higher than Madden. Madden's not getting off the ground very high at all but it's just the fact he jumps a little earlier into Gallagher is really upsetting him. And it uh, can hurt, can't it, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Holding the ball. Rock making no attempt to get rid of it and McMullen will take the free kick. And McMullen, formerly of Collingwood, Somerville outnumbered. Steele read it well. Trouble for Chandler. Wanganeen, a beautiful little pass to Harvey. Courage by Harvey and he's cleaned up by Martin. Now that is a fellow keeping his eye on the ball. There are two fellows keeping their eyes on the ball. What an effort from Harvey. In a lot of cases, he brings injury onto himself because of his courage, I suppose. It gets him into predicaments. But the man who doesn't look too good is Martin, who obviously got a really heavy cork thigh. He's being helped by the trainers. But that's what you're expected to do. And Harvey did it on the forward line. Let's hope he's all right. Let's hope he's all right. He's taken the mark. Martin doesn't look too good. Well, actually, at this stage, Martin looks more likely to come off. There he is again on replay. Look, 
Eyes just for the ball, Harvey. Well, that's great stuff. Well, both players have broken away from the trainers. Mark Harvey had played in a couple of premiership teams when he was still a teenager. Goes for goal from about 40 metres out. Oh, great stuff. Well done, Mark Harvey. The Bombers have added a couple in this quarter. 14-11 to 8-6. Well, you've got to take your, heart, your hat off to Harvey in situations like that. And then he finishes it off with a great goal. He's had a wretched run with injuries throughout his career, Harvey. It's good to see him back. So it's Essendon now by 41 points. North Melbourne most disappointing. Both the Ruckman miss it. Heard under a lot of pressure. Eventually North win it forward as the kick goes out towards right half forward from German. Storming up the ground, McCarthy oh, lays it off to Roberts. Roberts inside the 50 goes Goldwood misses to the right hand side he's very very quick in his reaction McCarthy because he was going right that time and then quickly shot the ball across to the left to Roberts that was great play Danaher brings it in Buick on the burst little chip pass out wide Anderson didn't have to break stride good kick he's on center wing now he centers it Somerville goes up knocks it back into the face of Ridley Hand pass comes across from Bailey to Anderson. Anderson inside the attacking 50. Salmon again. Well, he's keeping Martin anchored to the ground. They're using his body superbly. And again, Martin had no play on the ball. Martin actually went behind. You see there, behind. He plays better, Martin, when he's out in front, attacking the ball as he did last week and has done on occasions here today. Salmon's kicked two goals. He'll take a good kick from here. He'll kick right on the 50. Good looking effort. It holds in the breeze, but it's still good enough. You know, one of the reasons Essendon haven't won since 1985, won the Premiership, they haven't had enough goal scoring potential. Salmon's been their leading goal kicker for the last four years with 43, 37, 36, and 43. Now, if he can keep up an average of three or four, Bombers might be a lot better off. The one thing about the Essendon forward line, when they do play well, they do share the goals around. Bombers have brought up the century, 101 to 55. Yes, that's good umpiring on that occasion. Simon Madden jumping that little earlier on that occasion. Gallagher, who played in Carlton's Premiership team in 87. And Madden, who played in Essendon's in 84 and 85. Kicked by Gallagher to the 50. Carey. Careful. That's nine marks to Wayne Carey. In his third season in the AFL, the South Australian to the goal square. Oh, that's a free kick. Kranzberg gets back there to run that through for a behind. Free kick should have been paid to McCarthy on that occasion, taken out by Kranzberg away from the ball. There's the time remaining. It's a big deficit as far as North are concerned. Danaher. Grandstand side, going for distance. They've dominated the air generally, and that's no exception. Somerville. He's at right half back, towards centre wing, Harvey props in front, knocked away by Smith, but he infringed, Harvey will get the free. He's been very busy so far in this term. Oh no. 50 metres. I think Ross Smith, he didn't do that intentionally on that occasion, it was just a missed throw. Paid the penalty. Well, the umpire a little lenient because he really hasn't given him 50 metres. It's about 30. So I think the umpire appreciates and appreciated what F uh, Ross Smith was trying to do. And Ross pleading his case, saying he doesn't claim to be Joe Montana. There goes the kick down towards the pocket. Salmon again. This is getting very repetitive. Paul Salmon wasting no time. Vacant goal misses to the near side.
Essendon, 15-12, North Melbourne 8-8. Eight, eight. Fairly to bring it in. Well, Paul Salmon, now 26 years of age, maybe we're going to get back to uh, the mid-80s when he had 60-odd goals up in 13 rounds before uh, injuring his knee and missing the rest of the season. This is Thompson to Izzard. On the 50, Alan Izzard is centering kick. Where's Salmon? Out he comes. One of two. Harvey comes up with it. It's an Essendon ball. And one suspects another goal coming up from about 20 metres out directly in front. Maybe a little further out. Well, actually, it was Salmon who had the hands in front, but it was Harvey's stronger grip that actually brought the ball down. Harvey with five marks matching Salmon and Madden in the air from right in front spears the kick way right and scores it behind but Harvey and Salmon are doing all the scoring for the Bombers in this quarter Salmon's kick 2-1, Harvey 1-1 one, one. you see Martin all right after that clash actually is still limping we have a bad corky tomorrow for the men to peel off uh, at half back Chandler is the one he doesn't gain much ground they have possession that's about all now Chandler goes longer in the direction of Gallagher Salmon from the back almost dragged down a screamer ground level McMullen short pass fingernail to it by German Anderson up to the 50 metre line Larkin goes backwards with the hand pass North Melbourne out of trouble high one by Rock out towards centre wing that was a shock kick pressure kick and we'll have a boundary throw in well Gallagher's had a big task against everything Essendon have thrown at him Bailey to Izard to O'Donnell across the ground Harvey again well that knock doesn't seem to have taken, to have taken anything out of him the pass to Salmon drops short Martin in front Larkin and the skipper rips it out of defence. Out to centre wing. Roberts did well. Mark Roberts. Inside half forward. Easy mark to Hurd. The most impressive, the veteran. Squares it. Anthony Danaher has it now. Out towards right half back. 15-13 to 8-8. Danaher towards centre wing. Anderson on the lead. Got a hand to it. Couldn't control it. It's out of bounds. Interesting, Martin on that occasion was in front of Salmon. He's a better player when he's in front and attacks the ball. A real contrast coming into this game. North Melbourne tipped as the big improvers this year as Gallagher gets it down. Schwoss's high kick goes down towards left half forward. Off hands. Ramiro a half chance. Well played by Carey. Into the path of Ramiro. Run down by Hurd who takes it personally. Across it comes to German. Superb smother there. A despairing smother by Bailey. Or was it flood? It was flood. Ball spills back meantime towards midfield Roberts has got the run of it in trouble on the ground he gets it away to German German on the 50 long down towards full forward McCarthy goes up got his hands to it goes back after it Transberg forces a behind well done just talking about the contrast between these two sides I think a lot of people writing the epitaph of Essendon but so far today it's North who have failed the test well, they really didn't have a game, Essendon, for two weeks prior to last week, and uh, they really came in underdone against Richmond. Only a couple of good players, but this week they seem a lot better. And last week, of course, they beat the Tigers with six seconds left on the last kick of the game. Larkin, centering kick. McCarthy, it's the ground at the front. Madden got the ball and his opponent. Eventually, Kranzberg, after a little uh, deflection earlier on by Ridley, Wide open now for the Bombers. Wanganeen pops oh. it high for Salmon or Harvey. Harvey onto it and runs into the goal. What a kick. They enjoyed last week against Richmond. Tear away winners 25-17 to 13-16 for the Bombers. Buick got five and four each to Harvey and Salmon. Somerville kicked three. And for North Melbourne, it was McCarthy five and Carey three. Three reported players from Essendon, Fox and Bailey. And from North Melbourne, Wayne.